hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel this is your girl angel from simply angel tia in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to crochet this granny square uh triangle shawl it's very 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 simple i don't know how else i can stress how simple this is but also it looks really nice and it looks very 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 uh, more intermediate uh, type project when you look at it because of how simple it is anybody can do it obviously and i know you guys out there that are the biggest followers of my tutorials are beginners so i figured i would do a shawl that is not as complicated as virus shawl or any of this kind of stuff uh, so you guys can at least do something that is a little bit easy to do and still produces excellent results like this Okay, so this is what we're going to be working on. Make sure you grab your yarn. Make sure you grab uh, your materials. I will talk a little bit about what I'm using here so you guys are aware and you can use the same if you want. But if you don't, it's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, my lovelies, before we get started with the project, I'm going to show you all the materials that I'm using for it. And as you can see here, I have my uh, yarn. This is Mandala by Lion Brand. Uh, yarns and it's a lightweight number three i recommend it hook size is five uh, millimeter crochet hook or h8 us and for this amount of yarn here you get 150 grams or uh, for, for 540 meters it's 100 percent acrylic and for the color it's called spirit for the color yeah, so this is just the self changing color like this uh that we you can get this yarn i guess anywhere i got this online um for crochet hook size i'm gonna use a little bit smaller i'm gonna use 4.25 millimeter crochet hook or g6 us uh the reason for using this is i just like my shawl to be a little bit uh tighter than loose because the bigger the the, the crochet hook the looser your work looks so I'm using a little bit small so I can kind of control the intensity and make my work very even because we're doing granny, granny squares, uh, a granny stitch was going to, I want it to look very uniform. In other words, I'm going to need a scissors and a step measure just in case uh, it's mostly for you guys. I'm going to make it in my size. So I don't need to know what size I'm making, but if you're making it for someone else, it would be good to know how long you want it to go. Okay. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started okay my lovelies so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this project here so i'm gonna go ahead and do a magic circle okay so i'm just gonna leave the chain a little bit long here so that we don't run out as we walk into the magic circle i'm gonna slip that off my finger and then i'm gonna take my crochet and go into it and i'm gonna go ahead and do a chain of five so one two three four and five and then into the center here, I'm going to work uh, three double crochets. So that's the first. And then two. And then three. Okay. So keep in mind, we have a chain five here. That the first three chains count as a double crochet. And the next two chains count as a chain two. Okay, and then I'm going to chain two, so one, two, and then into the next, the same uh, magic circle, which is here, I'm going to do three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do a treble crochet at the end here. Okay. So this is the first row of our granny uh, stitch shawl. Now if I pull this here, I'm going to be able to close my magic circle because right now it's open. But I'm going to pull it so that it closes that section here like this. And as you can see, this side matches this side here. So again, sorry, I said earlier that uh, three double, three stitches count as a double crochet, but I meant to say uh, out of the five, uh, four counts as a treble crochet plus a chain one, which is what we did here, chain one and then a treble crochet. 
then we're gonna start the second row so i'm going to do a chain of five so one two three four five i'm gonna turn and into this gap here which is our chain one and a treble crochet uh, gap i'm going to do three double crochets so i'm gonna go one two and three okay like that i'm gonna chain one then i'm gonna go right into the middle so i'm gonna skip these three stitches here and into the middle i'm going to do three double crochets so one two and three Okay, I'm going to chain two and then into the same gap, I'm going to do three more double crochets. So we're creating a corner here because we're doing a triangle shawl. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip the next three stitches and then into this gap here. I'm going to do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then we need to match this side here. So remember we did a chain five and then went into here. So our chain five on each end on the, at the beginning of each row is going to count as a treble crochet plus one chain. So the, the first four is a treble crochet plus chain one to make it the fifth chain. And so on this side, we're going to chain one and then to do a treble crochet. So again, we yarn until we have three loops on the hook like that. We go into that center, go through the first two loops, and then go through the first two loops, the next two loops, and then go through the final two loops like that. So that's our treble crochet at the end to match the chain five here that we did at the beginning okay and then you just continue to repeat this pretty much all until you have the size of your shawl so you can change colors you can use variegated colors that change color on its own you can use a uh, uh, one solid color you can in terms of color you pretty much use any color of your choice so i'm going to show you one more row so chain five so one two three four five turn work three double crochets into the first chain one space one two and three chain one go into the next gap so you skip these three stitches into the next chain one gap Go ahead and do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Chain one into the corner top here. Create your corner, which means you do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets into the same chain two space. Okay a very 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 simple project definitely beginner friendly and this is something that you can make very easily and can have this project finished really fast because it works up really fast as well and then you will chain one and go into the next chain one gap and do your three double crochets two three chain one then go into the final gap here and do three more double crochets two and three and then chain one and then finish it off with a treble crochet into the same space so one two go into the gap yarn over go through the first two loops yarn over go through the next two loops yarn over go through the final two loops and that's your treble crochet so as you can see, your granny, uh, your granny square shawl looks something like this. Very, very simple. So you will just continue to build this. This will continue to stay straight here. And as you continue to build your top corner here, it will continue to go up. 
and then when you have pretty much completed the size that you're looking for and size in this case there's no number of rows that equals a certain number or a size you just work and then when it reaches a small size for example let's say for a, a young girl or whatever you stop and you can continue to increase the rows to get the next sizes okay so there's no actual size measurement in these type of projects so i will have you guys work your project until you have uh what you're looking for i will create mine uh to pretty much finish the um the uh, the number of the the size of yarn that i have when that's done i finish my project as well i'll come and show you guys how that looks like okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have gone ahead and completed working on this project here and as you can see uh because of the yarn and the way it changes color on its own it's a variegated yarn you see how it pretty much changes colors from where we started off here so we started with this light gray color here and then we worked ourselves and the yarn changes color as we continue to work through the ball of yarn and as you can see we finish it off with another gray which i really like this wasn't planned but i really like that they had this gray color at the end of it that i was able to um kind of line up the bottom or the edges with the same color as the one we started with at the beginning here okay so this is pretty much the end of the project here so this is kind of like a small uh, uh small size um shawl and you can obviously make it bigger by just continuing to work on it until you have the size that you're looking for and if you want it um to be done in a, a one solid color that is also a choice and if you want to do it in this variegated variegated color then it's your choice as well variegated yarn okay so i'm gonna stop the video here this is the end of it so i hope you guys will give this a chance and a try and please uh make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe to the video make sure you like and share the video with your friends as well and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when i post my next video and as well uh take pictures of your projects guys this is always something i ask for take pictures of your uh, projects and share with me on instagram you can dm me you can tag me on your work so we can see what you guys are creating out there using these videos that i'm making okay all right well we're gonna end it here thank you so much again for watching the video to the end and i will see you guys in my next one bye